Greetings, fraction friends. Today we'll be comparing fractions. We'll start by comparing 3 fourths of a cookie to 4 sixths of a cookie. Just by looking, it does appear that there is more cookie on the left than on the right. I think I could safely conclude that 3 fourths is greater than 4 sixths. But what if the models weren't very clear, or I don't have models, then how could I compare these two fractions? Well, the first thing we'll want to do is find common denominators. To find the common denominators, we could do a few things. One is, we could multiply the denominators we have. That will always work for you. But sometimes there is a smaller number available. In this case, I know that 4 and 6 have a common multiple of 12. So I could create common denominators of 12. Let's do that together. To create a common denominator of 12, we'll multiply 3 fourths top and bottom by 3. That gives me the equivalent fraction 9 twelfths. On the right, I can multiply the top and bottom by 2. That gives me an equivalent fraction of 8 twelfths. Now, I can see that 9 twelfths is greater than 8 twelfths. Let's try another. Here we're comparing 2 fourths of a pan of brownies to 6 eighths of a pan of brownies. The one on the left appears to be half. The one on the right appears to be more than half. But let's go ahead and find common denominators to be sure. In this case, I have 8 and 4, which I could multiply and use a common denominator of 32. But you might remember that 8 is a multiple of 4, so I can go ahead and create a common denominator of 8. Let's do that. We'll take 2 fourths, multiply the numerator by 2 and the denominator by 2, and I get the equivalent fraction 4 eighths and I can see that 4 eighths is less than 6 eighths. Let's try another example. Comparing 3 fifths and 4 sevenths, the best bet here for a common denominator is the product of 5 and 7, which is 35. Let's go ahead and create those common denominators. We'll take 3 fifths, multiply the numerator and the denominator by 7. This gives me the fraction 21 30 fifths. On the right, we'll take 4 sevenths, multiply the numerator and the denominator by 5, and get the equivalent fraction 20 30 fifths. Now I can compare 21 30 fifths and 20 30 fifths, and I know 21 30 fifths is greater. Let's try one more. Here, Vince and Juanita each have a bag of candy. Vince ate 3 eighths of his, Juanita ate 5 sixteenths of hers. And we want to know who ate the greater fraction of the candy. So we have the denominators 8 and 16. If we multiply those, that's kind of a big number. What we want to do here is recognize 16 is a multiple of 8. So we'll use that common multiple to create a common denominator. We'll multiply the top and bottom here by 2. We get the equivalent fraction 6 sixteenths. Comparing that to 5 sixteenths, we see that 6 sixteenths is greater. Okay, comparing fraction experts, you can try some on your own.